Hello everybody and welcome back to the craft room with Tanya. No, isn't this beautiful? It's not, I think it's pretty. I really think it's pretty and it's unusual. This is a, a little DL card that I have um, drawn little hills and valleys and mountains. It's actually, it's a take on the view from my craft room window, if you like. Um, now, I, I saw this idea on YouTube somewhere. Unfortunately, I didn't save the video, so I can't credit the poor soul um, that inspired me. But I have looked since to try and find it and have found lots of different variations of the same theme. So I don't think it's um, it's going to be a copyright infringement or anything like that if I show you how to do it. Um, especially because I have not seen it made into a card, so I'm hoping it's okay. Um, I think it's very pretty, and like I said, it's a variation on a theme from that I can see out my window because we live in the foothills of the Moan Mountains, so it's um, it's very pretty, and there genuinely are a lot of different colours. So let me show you how I made it now. Um, let me get some of the stuff out of my road here. There we go. I start off with my standard watercolour paper. This is 300 GSM. or th Well, it says 300 grams per metre squared, so I'm presuming that's GSM. I'm not sure. Um, but it's good, heavy card. Now, I have a little off-cut here. Might as well use this bit up. Um, I'll probably not even use all of it, but uh, let's see. I'll tell you what we'll do. I'll use it twice over for the same card and then I'll make a little set of them. There we go. Now, what you do first and foremost is take a pencil. Now, what, what have I got here? Where's my pencils? Where's my... Oh, do you know I had that in my hand the whole time, I think? Right, okay, and all I'm going to do is sketch some little shapes to put me in mind of hills and valleys and mountains. And I usually do this nice big one at the front because this is a sleeve nobody and this is a decimet. Now, here we go. Um, and then we have the crew coming up behind that. Um, what else? Let me see. Yeah, that's fine, isn't it? And then I'm going to bring this, um, just a little one in here, just to give it a bit of um, variation, I think. And then I'll bring this one down to meet it like that. And then finally, we see one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, that's right. And then I'll just bring. I want this one to come over like this, and then up like that. I think that's perfect. Now you can do it completely different. You can do it more stylized. You can do bushy ones. You can do whatever you want. Um, but um, that's my basis. Now that's where I'm, I'm jumping off from. So I'm using a sort of a rounded brush, I think, and watercolor paints. And I'm going to start off with some nice green. And this is my favorite color of green here. It's a lovely lawn green. Now, as we've said before, you can use your um, Distress Oxide inks for this. You don't need to use watercolours. So if you don't have paint lying about, then just go with what you do have. No, I, let me get a little bit more in there. And let's get stuck in. No, I, I always go for some reason with this colour of green to get me started and I'm the messiest watercolour painter you've probably ever come across. I'm just going to add a little bit more colour in here from the pan. You can use your distress inks like I said. You can also use, um, let's see I'm going to do yellow next. Um, just as if it's been cut for straw or hay or whatever. Although you can go absolutely nuts 
and do whatever colours you want. Um, so where was I? Oh yes, you can use your distress inks. You can use anything. We're going to doodle on top of it. So as long as we can use it to doodle on, you know, with a, a black marker, it doesn't really matter. Um, you can use gouache, uh, acrylic, um, or just whatever floats your boat. I don't see why any of those wouldn't work. Although I love watercolours and I'm experimenting with them. It's not a medium I've ever worked that much with. So I'm having a blast learning, I have to be honest. And I am. <laughs> I use the term learning very, very loosely. Um, I'm exploring watercolours at the moment. Now I'm just changing up the colour here a little bit to give me a different colour of green. No. Let's see if we can bring this round. Like so perfect. There we go. And it's just, you know, I find painting like this and like I am no artist. I've said that on a number of occasions. I am a complete novice, but I'm enjoying it. And it, isn't, it doesn't matter as long as you're enjoying it. And I have to say, I'm finding it very, very relaxing now. I'm going to go for a nice deep brown next because you, you can have a plowed field, couldn't you? So I think I'm going to make this one brown. Oh, that's a lovely colour. A lovely deep brown chocolatey brown isn't it gorgeous i'm using paints here um windsor and newton and it's simply i've used um derwent as well in the past um they're a very very nice paint um which just whatever works for you no i've been too busy chittering and that has dried a little bit, so it's going to come out a little bit patchy, but, or is it? No, it's fine. It doesn't really matter anyway, because we're going to doodle over the top of it, so it, it's, um, it's no biggie. Now, what colour next? Let's see. Let's see, will I do, I want to do this bit a purpley colour, so I think I'll go in with another variation or will I just keep it that lovely soft green let's see let's do a bit more of that I think um get a bit more pigment on the brush there we go yeah lovely isn't that pretty no, this one is going to be purple, but this is my sky. So what I'm going to do before I do this last one, because the sky, I don't want it too um, bright or strong a colour. Oh, I want it stronger than that. So let's see. A wee bit more water. I just want this a very light wash because I have a little trick. I can do with this and when you have that done get a tiny bit of kitchen roll or cloth or anything and just give it a little dab and it gives you like a cloud effect I don't know if you can if you're getting that if you're able to pick that up or not can you oh look at the mess I've made I told you I was a messy painter right okay so that's that and while that's still damp, I'm going to change my brush to um, a little pointy jobby. I'm going to put a tiny bit of orange in here. Whoopsie daisy, like so. I'm going to go around that with a drop of water, clean water, because I want it to sort of 
bloom if you like you're going to do that for me are you come on it should yeah it's starting to let's give it a little bit more help there and then when that dries a bit i'll come back to it and i'll put in a spot of yellow but it's just it's just to make it a little bit more interesting um, it's me messing around is, is really what this now I'm going to I think I'm going to go in here with a nice deep purple where is my purple up here in the corner there it is and let's give this because mountains in the distance usually have a lovely lilac-y purpley hue on on a, well if it's not such a, a bright day as this but whether it's bright or not i like this color so it's not it's a stylized picture anyway so it, 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 it i don't know what i'm chittering on about it doesn't matter about color but that's where that's where my um i suppose my focus has come from or my my um color scheme um there we go and it looks like nothing at the moment but please don't worry about it just have fun don't get too stressed and just enjoy yourself now let's see if i put while that's still damp i want to put a really strong dollop of that lovely yellow that we have down here in the middle of my sun and again just let it diffuse is that even making a difference? It is. Tiny bit. There we go. Let it do its own thing. There we go. Pretty. Now, I am going to give this a little dry. And with the heat gun so i'm not subject you to that and i'm going to tidy up a little bit and i'll be back in just a second oops hello and welcome back now i have um a little artworks um color and pencil here this this is oops a daisy sorry i'm knocking the place apart here it is um number 59 or shade 59 and it's a wee watercolor pencil but again that's just what i have to hand an ordinary pencil will do fine and all i am doing here is highlighting my little hills and mountains like so and you can go over this as finely as thickly as you like you don't need to go over it at all if you don't wish to I just think for a card now, which this is, it's a stylized card, um, really and truthfully going over it like this um, just makes it stand out that bit more. And it looks really, really sweet. There we go. And every single one of them is different. Even though they're similar, they're different if you get my drift. So you could um, put a wee set of these together we set a three or something as um, a present for somebody i think that would be a lovely idea i'd be delighted to get them i really would no I, whoops a daisy i'm kicking over the the bin underneath the desk i do apologize um i'm kicking the bucket isn't that what they say <laughs> now i am going to do a little bit of painting on this but not a lot and then I'm just going to doodle so I want to get my painting in first to allow it a chance to dry so now that I've my hills marked in what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a few pretty little trees or flowers or whatever you like to call them it's entirely up to you but I'm going to do them sort of abstract so I'm going to start off with a nice bright red and I, again I'm hoping to put plenty of pigment onto my brush because I want these to stand out. You could do this with your marker. Um, so where do I want to put my red trees? I think I'll put those. 
I think I'll put some blue ones here and I'll put some red ones right up at the very back. I don't usually, but well, I have done. Now you can make these as big or as small as you want. It's entirely, entirely up to you. Um, you, can, you don't have to do them round. That one's went a bit pear shaped, literally. So let, let's keep them all the same. Let's let's keep them a little bit more uniform. Um, again, they don't have to be. Um, you can do them all different shapes if you wish. Now let me get more colour onto this brush. Let's see. Um, there's another little one. Another little one. Oops, we'll round that one off a bit and that one. Um, put one here and one down here. Another one here and so on and so forth. You just get the drift. You just put them wherever you jolly well please. Um, round that one out. I tend to keep them within the, um, the, the fields or colours you know, rather than sticking them up out of it, because it is what it says on the tin. You know, it it is abstract art, and I think I think it just looks better for the pattern, rather. So it flows better for me, if you like. Now I'm just going to do a few little blue ones in this part here. I'm going to use oh, where is it? There it is. A lovely, lovely deep. Prussian blue for this. It's almost black. It's beautiful now. Where am I? Yeah, here, wasn't it? I'm going to keep these round. Little round jobbies. Or try to, should I say. And again, doesn't matter. It's your doodle. But they are so pretty. I think they're, you know, you. You know, I've, I'm, I'm guilty of this. I have spent a fortune of money on paper, um, DSPs and plain paper, books of paper. I've bought them, um, from eBay. I've bought them from the Works, which is a sort of um, bargain shop. Um, I've bought them direct from Stamping Up. And so on and so forth, you know. Um, no, I'm not going to do one down in there. That'll do me. Let's just set that out of the way before I spill it. And we'll put the paints out of the way. No. I need to get give this a little dry. These ones are nearly dry. So maybe by the time I've stopped talking, they will be dry. I'm using a selection of markers. Now, I want to show you. You can use your art liners, your, your, your markers, um, your proper paint markers. This is Spectrum Noir and it's a 0.5. Um, or you could just, just use your Stampin' Up marker. You can use any alcohol marker, felt tip, whatever. Actually, I, I'll use that to show you that it works every bit as well. So I'm using that. I'm using some Spectrum Noir metallic paint markers. I have a 7mm and a 3mm, or sorry, a 0.7 of a mill and a three mill. And then I have a little acrylic paint marker, but a jelly roll or um, something like that will work just as well. Now, give that a jolly good shake or it doesn't work. I'll set them off to the side. I'm gonna give this another blast with the heat gun just to make sure it's perfectly dry and then I'll be straight back. Okay, and welcome back now. It's more or less dry. Um, so I'm gonna use the, the fine point, which is a 0.5 on my um, pen, my Stampin' Up black marker. And I'm gonna draw in little trunks for my pretty little trees or flowers, depending on what you want to call them. And like I said, oh, this, is, this isn't working terribly well because it's knackered, um, but we'll see. We'll keep persevering with it for the minute because I do want you to see that it does work. I see if I can give it a bit of a shake and um, see. Oh, that's helped. Good job. And give it another shake. There we go. I 
when I'm just running little stems or trunks onto my trees like that. And then I'm going to do the same with these little blue jobbies. I've used this poor old alcohol marker so much that it it's no wonder it's running out. I must admit, I find this so relaxing and so much fun to do. Do you see if you're stressed in the craft room? Just do a little bit of doodling like this. It is so much fun. I must show you, um, I've been doing quite a bit of doodling because um, I've been doing these on A4 sheets and lots of different ways of doing them too. So I must, I must actually do a wee video on that because it is fabulous for backgrounds. Um, so so clever right now what I want to do next is I want to do a bit of glitz so I'm going to do a bit of gold I'm going to use my 3mm one here first of all because um, I want quite do I want to do this yeah why not I'm going to do quite big lines here as if this field can you see that it's hard to see I hope you're picking that up on the camera um so I'm just going to run this through like this. There's no hard or fast rules. There we go. That'll do lovely. Now it's just, again, my markers are at their the end of their best. So I'm just going to run it over that again. There we go. That's it. Now I'm going to use my, um, actually... I'm going to use my black marker, but I'm going to go back to my art liner, which works. Um, it's it's not as old as my stamping up one, so I'm hoping it'll work a little bit better. So let's see. I'm just going to do dots and dashes on this because I feel like it. So I'm going to do a dot there, a dash there, a dot there, dash there, and so on. Nearly messed that one up. <laughs> Although it doesn't really matter, does it? Just shows you how coordinated I am, doesn't it? I must be the most uncoordinated person I know. There we go. Did it again. Doesn't matter. This is a joy of doing these. It really doesn't matter. There we go. That's it. That's that little job done. Now, what next? Oh yes, let's use a bit of gold. Where's, is this? That's the, the thick one. This is the fine one. Um, because I want to do little lines here as well. Just you really, it stands out so prettily against the yellow but you could do crosses you could do you know X's you do circles you do whatever you jolly well please um, it's entirely up to you I don't want to make this too busy um, so I'm keeping it very, very, very simple. But it is enormous fun. I started this with my two granddaughters that were staying up with me um, during the Easter break because um, it was just such bad weather. And it was such... We, we I think we were, we were feeling a little bit blue with the weather and... You know, it's hard for, especially teenage granddaughters um, that um, are used to being out with their buddies and they're stuck up here in the middle of the mountains 
Um, oopsie daisy. And I'm sure they were they were fed up. So I thought, right, let's let's be creative, shall we? And um, I brought them down, and we just dab, just just threw watercolor down onto pages, and then doodled round them, and they loved it. I was really surprised, so much so that um, the oldest of the two granddaughters ended up taking home my stash, well, a part of my stash of tubes of watercolours and um, markers so that she could do it at home. Isn't that fabulous? I was chuffed to bits. So I, if you're out there, honey bunny, I hope you're keeping it up. Um, although I'm sure it's hard with all your schoolwork, but if you get a chance, you keep it up, pop it. Because I think it's it's quite a mindful thing to do. You know, it's this acrylic paint marker. I got these from Amazon. I get most of my art supplies from Amazon, if truth be told. Now, what I'm going to do is I, I want to highlight these a little bit with a little white dot just to lift them a tad and I want to put um, more in here so just to lift it a little bit there we go and then I'm going to do um, I th what will I do? I do I'm just going to do little dots in my field here running in contour with the field I hope like so rather than you know random dots I want them running you don't have to again do what you want um, that's the joy of doodling and you don't need a lot of art supplies to do this you don't need um, stamps you don't need dye well you'll need one dye if you, well, you could cut it with a pair of scissors you don't need it but I, I like die cutting my cards, so I will use um, a DL or rectangular die for this because um, I plan on putting this onto DL card. Now, there we go. Isn't that cute? I wonder should I do anything on those little trees? Or will I keep those? I think I will. I think I'll do a little bit of gold just to, to spruce them up a bit. Let's do, let's do a little X in them just to make them that little bit more colourful, eh? Just to make them stand out. Give them a little bit of bling, as they say. Or pizzazz, or whatever you like to call it. There we go. That's it. Put those away. Simple as that. Nah. I'll do another one over there when I get this one cut, but I need to slice it in other two and um, put it through the Sizzix big shot. Now, where is my DL? Oh, dear, 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 dear. Gosh, I'm bringing half the craft room with me here. Let's see, it's in here somewhere. I think it's at the back. Yeah, there they are. No, I, I think that's the size I used for the last one because I do. Yep, yeah, I want to keep these the same. So I want to get lots of field in, but I still want a little bit of sunshine. So I think I'll go there. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Right, let's get it in and get it cut and get it on. Oh, I just moved it. <laughs> I'm happy with it there and then I put it... And it all goes to pot. Oh well, doesn't matter. It's not the end of the world, is it? Uh, let's go with that. Yeah, that's good. Whether it's the right spot or not, it's square and it looks good to me. Right. Now, let's pop that back in. Put you away out of the way. There we go. Now I keep these little off cuts um, because I use them, believe it or not, in my, or I'm hoping to, in my journaling. 
Um, you never know how handy they're going to come in. So I keep everything for it. That's why I have too much of a stash. I keep far, far, far too much stuff. So um, now my DL card. There we are. And all I'm going to do is set that on like that. Hey, how it's done. Now, you do need to stick this down really well because it is watercolour card. It does like to do its own thing. So I'm using my Tombow glue. I'm going to give it quite a decent amount the whole way around. I'm going to do it all the way up. Okay, and I'm going to squeeze these right into the, you know, right into the, the bottom of the card and those corners. Um, now, I'm, I'm sort of using the tip of my Tombow, um, almost like a, a spatula, I suppose, or I haven't an awful lot there. So just to get that into the corners and into the sides because it will lift if you don't. So I'll we'll just, there we go. Perfect. Now, I know I've made a bit of a mess of that, but where's, oh, I've kicked the bucket over again. Um, There we go. Just give it a little clean up with a bit of kitchen roll and it's absolutely fine. Perfect. Now, let's get this turned round. I've opened this, yep, that's the right way. And let's just place it straight on the card. Isn't that pretty? Have I got that straight because my hair is in my eyes? Let's see. That looks, that looks good to me. Oh, I've stuck to it. Oh, jeepers, and I've moved it. I think I've got it back down. It looks good. Let's get it stuck while it's still... Oh, that's gorgeous, isn't it? There you go. A very, very pretty little card. Now, what I do, just to keep the consistency of the whole thing, is um, inside, I'll take my paintbrush back, like so, and I'll do one of my little trees. Isn't it the round one? It is. Thank goodness for that. I'll also do this on the envelope. Um, where's my marker? No. I have a shaky hand, so I always get a little wiggle in my lines. But I think it works. Now, I'll put a white dot in the centre of that to match these. You could do another little red one there, but I just think the one's so pretty. It's, it's just so sweet and then I do exactly the same on the envelope if you want a little bit more if you know if you think that's that's not enough do as many as you like you know do do a smaller one down here and maybe a medium sized one there and and hey ho there we go it's entirely up to you actually I'll just Bring that on down there. Now I let those dry and then I'll put a white dot in the centre of them and it just brings this front round to the back and it's so pretty isn't it? I love them. I really really do. I'll bring this other one in for the moment while I lift this one out of the road and let it dry. There we go that's it. I'll do the envelope as well um, just to match it up and there you go you've got your your pretty little card. So I hope you've enjoyed that. I hope you give it a go. Um, I'll maybe put up a video over the next couple of days on doing a big doodle because it, it is such a lovely exercise and it it is really, really relaxing. Um, and if you think it would be a good idea and you'd like to see it, well, then you let me know. Um, because I, I hate putting videos up of things I like in case everybody else doesn't. But, um, oh, well, we'll see how we get on, hey? OK, I hope you have a lovely, lovely day um, wherever you are in the world. Um, morning, day, afternoon. 
enjoy it and um, happy crafting. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye-bye now.